Hello, everybody. Today we're going to talk about PHP and how to use PHP to connect to a MySQL database. We'll go over just a little bit about databases, what they are, how to create a MySQL database, how to select data, insert data, update data, and delete data, all using the combination of MySQL and PHP. For those who aren't very familiar with databases, a database is an organized collection of data. Databases can be used on the web and really all throughout programming, but on the web we can use them to store data, retrieve data, and what this allows us to do is create these dynamic websites that you see all over the internet. Websites like Facebook, news websites, Google, uh, other search engines, etc. All these websites have their data stored somewhere and it's being retrieved. So if you want to create powerful websites like this, you really have to understand how the connection between a database and the language works. And in this series, we're going to use MySQL, sometimes pronounced MySQL. And MySQL is pretty much the most popular, if I believe it's the second most used open source database. Uh, definitely the popular choice for uh, use with PHP. A database is made up of a few main parts. First off, you have the database itself. And within that database, you have tables. And tables isn't a fancy word for anything. Uh, there's no hidden meanings. It literally is a table of data. Uh, similar to what you might see in a spreadsheet, like an Excel or, or a Google Doc. So to illustrate that, we'll take a look at uh, a tool I'd like to use, which is called MySQL Workbench. And this is an example of the database we use for the Digital Crafts website. We are looking right now here in the center at a table that holds all of our videos or lessons. And we're able to store the title of the video, when it was entered into the system, um, what series it belongs to, what chapter in that series, the video ID on YouTube, uh, slug for the URL, tags, etc. So we're able to store all this data in here. And then we also have other tables within the database here over on the left. And some of these tables, you're allowed to create what's called relations. So these tables can actually communicate with each other based on shared IDs and things like that. So knowing that in my chapters table, I have a chapter that has the ID of one, and that's how we know that this video is associated with chapter one of a series. And in the chapters, we have series IDs, which tells us, you know, which chapter is associated with which series, and so on. So that's kind of a real quick rundown of, of how a relational database works. Now, I brought this tool up because it's got a nice uh, table form here, but we're actually going to use is PHP my admin which if you're running a server on your home computer and you're using something like XAMPP MySQL is usually installed with it along with PHP my admin most hosting companies provide a copy of PHP my admin so it's a very very widely used tool it's not necessarily as attractive as the MySQL workbench however it's available online so that's the main reason I'm showing it to you is the availability of it in general and the fact that you can access it really anywhere where you have an internet connection where the MySQL workbench here is an actual piece of software that you install on your computer so I do recommend checking out the MySQL workbench after this series and kinda of dabble with that but it's definitely a little more advanced tool and takes a lot of um, you know working through to learn where everything's at and how things work in here so we're gonna use the simpler tool of PHP MyAdmin